host, Fox News contributor Monica Crowley, Pulitzer Prize winner, New York Post columnist, Fox News contributor Michael Goodwin, Democratic strategist Robert Zimmerman. Good to have you all here. Let's start with the U.S. ambassador to Israel talking about strikes against Iran. Is this administration completely out of control? Well, uh, first of all, this is something he's apparently said privately to the Israeli army. Uh, leaders. So I, I don't even know whether it's true. And I also don't know the context of, is he saying we're ready to do it? Or is he just saying we're ready in case we have to do it? I mean, these are very big differences. As well. This one, this one, I don't know what to say about it, Lou, because I think it's a little unclear yeah. what the meaning was. All right. Well, we know what the meaning is of this one. So I'm going to persist with you on this. Okay. Pelosi uh, and, and all the folks over there at the White House are saying it's immature and irresponsible and of Boehner to even suggest that they debate or discuss the, raising the debt ceiling. Uh, do you agree? Uh, I do not. Agree. <laughs> On that one, I think it's pretty clear because what's amazing is that every time the Republicans advance some kind of budget cutting, they're, they're guilty of extremism and radicalism. Now it's immature and irresponsible. Somebody at some point has to cut the budget. Nancy maybe, Pelosi clearly is never going to. Maybe it's me, Michael, but when you, when you jeopardize the full faith and credit of the United States, when you produce a strategy like Speaker Boehner did last year that c caused a credit rating downgrade by the United S of the United States, I think we've got to rethink that strategy. Are you, really, are you really saying that it was irresponsible to have a debate about the debt ceiling and it's not a problem to run up $16 trillion in debt? I, no, that's not what I said. I said oh, it's I, irresponsible, I mean, I mean, it's I irresponsible it to say that we're not going to raise the debt ah. ceiling or to hold it hostage to budget negotiations because we'll have another scenario again where we had the stock market So what you're really collapse, saying is it's, 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 only, it's only irresponsible to actually do something about the national debt. <laughs> no, I'm saying it's a, we have to address the national debt, but we can't do it at the risk of jeopardizing another credit downgrade, which well, is the Boehner strategy. But, but let's talk about the root of the problem. What's irresponsible and immature is to continue this kind of, the, these levels of government spending where we have $1.5 trillion in annual deficits, racking up to $16 trillion in debt. That's irresponsible and immature. And what Boehner and what Paul Ryan has tried to do is at least advance a oh, plan to try well, to get at least the beginnings, Lou. I know you're critical of the Ryan I, I plan, so, I'm, I'm but more at than least critical. it's the I beginnings of trying I'm to get this thing under control. That Ryan becomes a hero for uh, fiscal uh, constraint, not for by me. seeking. <laughs> thank, thank you for that. Uh, by seeking to balance the budget over the course of the next uh, almost 30 years. I, I mean, let me ask you this: Obama's aides today just freaking out because uh, <laughs> Joe Ricketts and his folks were, uh, uh, you know, supposedly going to come with a Reverend Wright ad, uh, which uh, Rick has said is balderdash. It was one of many things put on the table. You dismissed it. Uh, what's going on? So this, they should be so upset. This was the Obama uh, campaign's preemptive strike on a non-existent ad, something that hadn't even been put in production but was just talked about. Robert how could and I were you, talking about this. How could your people do that? that, that I, he wanted the Reverend Wright no, ad. No, I, don't, I wouldn't say he wanted the Reverend Wright ad. Of course not. But I think clearly we saw it wasn't the Democrats overreacting. You saw the Republican National Committee. And you saw the, Obama, the Republican super PAC panic over this issue when, they was, when their plan was explo exposed to try to make Reverend Wright an issue in this campaign. We've all grown beyond it. Of course, the only one who didn't have the character to stand up was Mitt Romney. Unlike John McCain, he wait tried a minute, to... Wait a minute. He repudiated it. He repudiated it. Yeah, no, he said he doesn't want to go there. Excuse me. He said he doesn't want to go there. He, he didn't say it was wrong. What? He did? I, I yield to you then. You, I'm glad he did. Gee, there's a first. <laughs> You know, you were about to say. Well, I, I, I don't see what's wrong with bringing, bringing Jeremiah Wright into the discussion. I mean, here we are. We're talking about uh, what Mitt Romney did in high school. We're talking about what Mitt Romney did in 1990 with Bain Capital. And yet we can't talk about Jeremiah Wright, uh, who was active in President Obama's life until 2008. Well, you know what we're going to do the next time we convene, and that will be soon, we'll talk about Reverend Wright. All right? Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Probably you don't look excited about that. <laughs>